As with Amelia Earhart, many rumours and reports of Halliburton's fate continue to rise over the years, with fans hoping he might yet turn up alive. But look, this guy, so the kind of books that he did, he published The Glorious Adventure, in which he retraced Ulysses' adventures through the classical Greek world as recounted in Homer's Odyssey. Well, He published New Worlds to Conquer in 1921, in which he recounted his famous swim down the Panama Canal. New Worlds to Conquer was the title of my English language primer at infant school. Ah. Oh. New Worlds to Conquer. There you are. So this is where you are the inheritor of Halliburton's spirit, well, I kind you? of think I am. Yeah, I can see that. So presumably you might have done the retracing of the track of Cortez's conquest of Mexico and also, in full goatskin costume, have cast yourself away on an island to, to re-enact Robinson Crusoe. Well, I thought about it, but I couldn't get anyone to dog sit. <laughs> so he's one of us, but he's full on. Okay. He's absolutely full on. So this is the Richard Halliburton tribute podcast we're doing here. Well, here, his father dismissed him, saying that <laughs> oh, he... Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Fathers. He said he needed to get Wanderlust out of his system. <laughs> get a proper job. Yeah. And he replied in his correspondence, he said, I hate that expression, Wanderlust. And as far as I'm able, I intend to avoid that condition. When impulse and spontaneity fail to make my way uneven, then I shall sit up nights inventing means of making my life as conglomerate and vivid as possible. And when my time comes to die, I'll be able to die happy, for I will have done and seen and heard and experienced all the joy, pain and thrills, any emotion that any human ever had, and I'll be especially happy if I'm spared a stupid common death in bed. Wow. Conglomerate and vivid. Well, fair. Well, hurrah to that. He's he's in the club. He's in the club.